Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Quick video on, um, it's probably going to be the first segment for interesting study of the day. I'm going to release those every Saturday or Sunday. Uh, so I'm going to call it like, I don't know, Science Saturday or Science Sunday or some shit. But anyway, um, the, the segment is going to be basic, simple. We're just going to pick a study. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of studies on my access, my Microsoft Access database. I mean, I've been studying body composition and nutrition and biochemistry on the side for years, you know, and I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big note taker. So every time I run into a study, I'll put it in my Microsoft Access database. I used to put it on Excel. First, I used to put it on Notepad. Then it got too much, and I, I transferred it to Excel. And then when I learned how to use Microsoft Access, I transferred it there. So I have a lot of studies on there, guys. I mean, this is, I started doing this in 2012, 2011, 2012. So this is roughly four years of studies that I have backed up. You know, and I put it on Access because it's easier to find them. Like, let's, let's say I'm, I, I read it, because each time you read a new study, usually it contradicts something else you read before, or it sheds new light on something else. So I like to go back and compare it to the previous studies and by having it on Microsoft Access, it's a lot easier to switch, you know, to go back and do like a, uh, a query and type the keywords. So, but, so that's why I got this idea to make the segment, the, the segment study of the week or study of the day, whatever. I just go back in one of those uh, studies, pull one out and then make a video on it, you know, simple. There's a lot of people, because every, every time I mention some of the stuff that I learned, either through experience or through studies, people want to... Uh, people was asking, uh, study, link to the study, link to the study. And I'm like, God damn, man, I got so many studies. It's it's hard to find them shits. A lot of them I just memorized, man. But this excuse is no longer valid now because I'm going to start doing this segment. And also remember, I'm only going to use studies where I'm going to try to use studies that I also experienced in real life or I've seen in real life. Because you know what this channel is about, man. I, I don't believe in 100% science. And I don't believe in 100% bro science. I combine both, right? You know, for me, for something, for me to use something and talk about something and believe in something, uh, it has to pass what I call the science and bro science test. It has to work on me, on the people that I work with, the people that I train, you know, or the people that I've, you know, I've, I've observed. And it also has to be backed up by science. To me, once something, once the fact meets both of those criteria, I feel like it's official. That's why you hear me say a lot. Prove the fuck, fan. It has to be proven. It has to be proven by science. And it has to be backed up by bro science. And I already explained several times why. I need both sides to confirm. I don't place 100% faith in science because well, as much as I love science, this shit is always fucking changing. You know, people are not honest enough to admit it. But if you if you if you balls deep in studies all the time, you'll know that over the years science is always coming up with some shit that contradicts what they said before and it's not that this, this science is flawed it's just that different studies are done by different people different interests they use different samples i think that's the biggest issue that they, they, they use different uh, uh populations and we, we all know that genetics play a big part in how they you know the results of these studies come out some of them don't use a big enough sample sizes some of them the studies are not long enough i mean there's a lot of things that could go wrong in a study which is why I prefer to balance it out. Now, if something is released and a you know a study says boom, 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 you should you should expect this behavior or this result. And then I also look in the bro science world, and I look at experience and my body and the people that I work with and all that stuff. And I see that it's also happening there. Then I fucking believe it. Fuck it. You know what else am I gonna wait for? You know Moses to come out of nowhere and be like, yes, I approve. No. You know because a lot of time and sometimes I just fuck around and, and try something just to see for myself. You know. You know, so always experiment, bro science, and also, you know, put your head in the books. So, look at me going up tangent again. I need a subscriber that's with me in the car all the time to be like, Megan, going up tangent, motherfucker. All right, so this study is going to be on, it's going to be real fast. It's going to be on protein, and not for how long is this video? Four minutes already. It's going to be on protein pre and post workout, right? Uh, I think the study came out a while ago. I don't fucking remember. There's a lot of studies on those. But I like to discuss it because it's a very interesting study. For all the motherfuckers that used to say, protein timing is irrelevant, Megan. Protein timing is irrelevant. You don't need to eat your protein pre or post-workout. As long as you get enough protein for the day, 
you good to go. They always say that. They always fucking say that. I used to hate it. You know, even before I knew about the study, because from experience, you know, every, most of my, my findings come from observation, bro science, anecdotes. I noticed that it made a big difference. It made a difference in strength. It made a difference in hypertrophy over time. You know, look, the people who ate religiously pre and post workout, it took their protein shakes like Marco, you know, Hansa, things like that. They grew a lot faster than the ones who did it, the ones who just bullshitted it, including myself. When I used to try to say, you know what, fuck this shit. Meal timing is irrelevant. Let me just take my protein whenever I want. I noticed a big change when I started taking my protein pre and post workout. That's the bro science aspect. And that is science fucking backs it up, right? Mill timing does fucking matter, you know. I'm never gonna try to argue this because if you still think it doesn't by now, then whatever, you know. Long term it does. Maybe not short term, but long term it definitely does. Simply, I mean, it's common fucking sense too, man. But once again, that's hindsight analysis. If you think about it, before you go to the gym, you got all these nutrients in your blood. You go to the gym, you lift for it, you get this massive pump, you know, everything is dilated and shit. All the nutrients have easier, you know, easier way to get into the target tissues. Post workout, same thing. You got that fucking, your blood is everywhere. I mean, it's. It's just you have the nitric oxide going. It's easier to transport things. Plus, the need for those nutrients is elevated post-workout. So it would make sense that your body would increase its efficiency, you know, during those times around workouts. But now, for you fuckers who will only want the science, I don't want to hear Megan's bro science from time to time. There goes the study. Now I'm gonna put some of the charts on the on the screen. The link in the description. Check this out. Look at the results in hypertrophy. This shit is fucking amazing, isn't it? Look at, the, look at the difference. And mind you, the reason why I like the study is because they use the same protein. So it's not like, oh, a company's trying to sell the protein shakes or whatever, you know, which is usually the case. But if you check, the, it's the same protein they're using. So it's not like, oh, you know, whey protein results and not non-whey protein. They're both using the same fucking protein shake. So, but you could clearly see that a group who took that protein in the morning and then in the evening did not have as much muscle gains as the group who took their protein pre- and post-workout, even though everything was equal, you know, calorically, identical, they, they try to keep everything equal, because then the study wouldn't fucking make sense, right, and that, that shocked me, I, you know, like, once again, in the back of my mind, I was like, I, I knew there was going to be a difference, but not that fucking drastic, and another chart I'm going to put up is, look at this shit, even, uh, even the lifts were different, you know, the pre- and post-workout group had more, more gains in strength, which kind of blows my mind, you know, and then the other chart right here. So uh, check out this study. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, this is nothing new for most of my subscribers. Most of the people that uh, that watch my videos know I talk about this a lot. You know, the the whole callback loading thing, the whole like meal timing. But for those who are skeptics, were skeptical and wanted to have proof, there it goes. You know, checking your protein before and after the gym makes a big difference long term in strength, in hypertrophy, in lean body mass, you know? It's a very fucking cool study. That's why I like my science motherfuckers out there, you know, the ones who are in the lab doing this shit. Shout out to you guys, you know? I'm a nerd, so I love seeing, you know, all these cool ass studies. But like I said, I only give them weight when they're applicable to real life situations, and they are. So, I promise to try to keep the video short. I'm gonna stop this one at, look at that, eight minutes. It's a drastic improvement. Uh, let me know what other studies you want me to discuss in the future. And um, don't forget to vote. The link is in the description. Don't forget to vote the next uh, for the next segments that you want to see. Keep that going. What else? What else? I'm going to have y'all motherfuckers work today. Another thing is, yeah, uh, a lot of you guys want to see the top, the top five segment, the Megan's top five, whatever. Comment below, you know, what do you want me to make a top five video on? Exercises, workouts, my favorite TV shows, favorite songs, favorite what? Just comment below. I don't mind. Just give me, you know, write the topics below for the next top five videos. I'm excited about it. Anyway, guys, I talk too fucking much. Going to the gym, weight club, hyperbolic time chamber. Gonna activate Devil Trigger, Bunkai, KUK, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Feeling good today. And um, let's get the show on the road. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Little segments. So go in the comment section and just vote. Vote on what you think is your most requested uh, topic. And then obviously the one that has the most likes are the ones that are going to prioritize. Uh, in case unless 